Okay, it's May 1st. I just got home from work. It's a Friday. Um, had a nice pleasant surprise. I had a box on my door from CD Archery. CD Archery is owned by Dwayne Martin and Calvin Schmock. If you've never met these two guys, um, two better ambassadors of the sport would be hard to find. They're both exceptional shots. Very friendly, very approachable, just great guys. Um, Dwayne's doing things with a bow right now that few people in the world can do. Um, I originally met Calvin, I think at Denton Hill. I had met Dwayne this past year at the Lancaster Classic, and he was just a gentleman. Couldn't be more friendly, couldn't be more helpful. Anything he could do for you, that kind of guy. He was shooting the WF-25 as well as Calvin and, and a few other guys, and um, they really, really tore it up. The riser, when I held it, I was impressed with the machining quality. So when I found out they were gonna do a 19 inch hunting style, I was all over it. I, I immediately asked Dwayne to put me on the list. And today, like I said, it's Friday, it's May 1st. My birthday's in four days, I'll be 47 years old. It's a big weekend, I got home early today. I'm gonna set up a bow, play with it. The big fight is tomorrow night, Manny Pacquiao versus uh, Mayweather. Come on, Manny. Um, so I'm looking forward to a, a good weekend at home. I, I don't get to stay home many weekends these days. My first impressions on the riser. Um, first off, I love the bronze color. I knew this bow, I was gonna order it in bronze. I, I love the horns. I, I, it's just got a real, I don't, like a, a, a real Spartan look to it, if you know what I mean. The bronze is beautiful. The first things that stand out, it's got great weight. It truly is weight forward. The riser's definitely got good weight. Feels very well balanced in the hand. It's a heavy riser, it's not a light riser. I like heavy risers. Hence that custom phenolic Covert Hunter I had done up. I like weight in my riser, it helps me. I, I need all the help I can get in my shooting. A couple other things I quickly noticed. First off, it comes with a, 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 a Jaeger grip. A Jaeger grip. Um, I ordered the medium. These are well known to be high quality grips. You get your choice, which is very cool. The next thing I noticed, it's got very cool custom ILF fixtures. It's just a really nice touch. I mean, so many custom boyers today, and I'm not gonna name any names. You get their ILF bows and they're using, you know, pretty much any, almost hardware you can get at Home Depot. They gotta straighten that out. They gotta clean it up. I mean, if you're still using ILF hardware that production companies are doing better, and this is not production so much, I'm saying bows you can, an ILF riser you can buy off the shelf as a, a more tricked out ILF um, fittings, you can do better. Very nice machine, very nice touch. The fittings are very nice. The next thing that I noticed that's just really interesting to me is the really cool machined hump. Now you've seen it all on the, um, on the WF-25. Again, this is really interesting to me. I originally wanted to set this riser up, and I still might do it, with an elevated rest for shooting veins. I end up hunting in the rain a lot, even though I hate hunting in the rain, I end up sitting in the rain, watching my feathers droop and my pretty risers. Not that this isn't pretty, getting soaked and it, no matter what it bums me out and I end up I hunt when when the deer are gonna give me the opportunities and sometimes that's in the rain so I originally was gonna set this bow up with an elevated rest and I still might do it but for now I'm so intrigued with this hump I've got to give it give it a go uh, I've got a couple different ideas everything's laid out to put this thing together I'm gonna attempt to as a strike plate use a felt disc, if it'll give me the right center shot, it fits perfect there. And I've got my old pre-band, it's pre-band, seal skin that I shoot on all my hunting rests. So I'm gonna try to set this bow up with a felt pad and a seal skin rest. And I think it's just gonna be awesome. Um,
Of course, some of the other goodies going on it. Scott Tesner did a great quickie quiver for me a while back with some Cape Buffalo skin from a big bull I harvested. The dark, dark brown with the black piping just looks killer, killer with the bronze riser. Next and certainly not least, of course we've got a pair of hex, what is being deemed as the 6.5 from my good friends the SIDS over at Border Archery. I've just come to, I mean, I love what the guys at Border are doing. For me, that's the only limb I'm really super interested in. So we have a set of what is currently called the 6.5. These are, these should come in, they're 48 pounds on a 25 inch riser. I'm trying to get these dialed into on this 19 inch riser. I'm trying to get them to come into around 52 pounds. That's right what my covert hunters um, honey limbs I'm running and I'm hunting with are. So I'm gonna try to dial these to about 52 pounds. Of course, we're gonna use some, some broadband limb savers, which I, I love. We've got some, some beaver fur silencers. I like mixing that old with the new kind of stuff. And of course, a string from Chad Weaver at Champion Custom Bow Strings. Chad's the man. Chad's been making all my strings for a couple years now. This is a BCYX string. Um, Chad does, for me, some of the best strings out there. So this will have one of Chad's strings on it. And that's about it. So I'm gonna shut down the camera. I'm gonna set this bow up, get a rough tune and turn it back on. Thanks for looking. Dwayne and Calvin, awesome riser. Thank you guys so much. Be back soon, thanks. Okay, we've got it set up. It's set up quickly. I think it turned out very cool looking. The Cerakote, the bronze Cerakote, really, really does a nice job, I think. It will darken up, Dwayne said, with time. But again, it, it looks great, I think. I cranked it down about, I'd say, four turns from the bottom, which is putting these limbs right at 52 pounds. The shelf is working really well. Put the silencers on. I'm going to pop a couple shots inside just so you can hear the bow in my garage. Then we'll go outside for a quick one. Quiet to the shot. It's a really easy bow to shoot. It's got the weight that it just it just sits right there. It just stays right where you want it to stay. This is literally the first groups I'm shooting since I I got it tuned. And um, really nice, really nice. Again, all stainless fittings, Cerakoted finish. Just should make an awesome 3D bow, hunting bow. The Hex 6 BB squared, which is the 6.5 now. Great limb. The balance on it is awesome. It doesn't want to roll back on me at all. Everything is where I want it to be, weight-wise. The Jager grip, very good. We'll go outside for a few. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, we're outside. The bow is tuned really well. It's bare shafting perfectly. 
I'm really digging this hump that they put in there. It's a, a super cool idea. The seal skin that I put on it, I don't know if you can see it. Really, really worked out well. I used a felt furniture pad on the strike plate to get that out and just glued a piece of seal skin right to that hump and the arrow is super secure when you throw an arrow on I mean very quiet in knocking really sits on there really well the bow's quiet dead in the hand I was worried about the hex sixes. These are mediums. I draw about 28 inches. I was worried about these on a 19, thinking that I, I wouldn't get into the meat of them. I am. I can definitely feel what I'm looking to feel, meaning that I'm actually, I can feel the limbs. I don't want to say roll over, but I can feel the limbs, that comfortable little thing that I'm so used to with the hex limbs. It's not let off it's just a perceived lightness that you get digging the grip feels very good Very pleased. You're going to be seeing more of this bow, this setup, really dig it. Okay, the weight forward 19, hex 6.5s, riser balance is great, very simple bow to shoot well, it really stays put, very, very calm at the shot, we'll throw a bear shaft in, this setup tuned really well. Even when you seem to not get off as good as you'd like, the arrows still go where you'd like them to go. Like I said, I mean, just a really great setup. Very fortunate. Dwayne, Calvin, the boys at Border, everybody else that did stuff on this boat, thanks. Great setup. Appreciate it. Check out Border Archery and the WF19 from CD Archery. Thanks.